Hello guys and welcome back to your lesson for comply with the workplace hygiene. Now we're still talking about um, temperature danger zone. So now I then we'll be right now the topic is identify standards or requirements applying to workplace hygiene procedures. So the two fourth rules states high risk food in the temperature danger zone for four hours are most to be thrown out. For food that are exposed in the air for four hours should be thrown out because it's already exposed with temperature danger zone or in a lot of bacteria already spread in the food. So next, high risk food in the temperature danger zone for two hours can be refrigerated refrigerated and return to TDZ for another two hours. Like if it's just exposed for two hours, you can first store it in your fridge to keep it cool and then you can take it out again for consumption, but you must eat it immediately. High risk food in the TDZ for two hours must be cooked or eaten in the next two hours or thrown out. You should reheat if it's, there's a food that exposed for two hours already and you must need to recook it and eat it in the next two hours otherwise it, it will get spoiled or the, there will be a bacteria spreading out of it this um high risk food i think i already discussed it with you last week these are milk and milk products egg products, meat and poultry, all types, all cuts. There's some meats, it can be pig, pork, or chicken, duck, whatever. Small good products, processed meat, fish or shellfish and fish products, seafoods, prepared foods containing potentially, potentially hazardous food items like it has an ingredients from this gas. So there, the temperature danger zone is 5 degrees to 60 degrees. So don't keep it. If you want to store your food, put it in the fridge immediately. Don't uh, put it just outside in the room temperature. So there. Next, a properly calibrated probe thermometer should be available in every food premises it must be okay so in some restaurants and hotels in their kitchen they use these tools to measure the temperature of the food so readily available for use check for accuracy for at least six months for accuracy or the sureness or if it's right for every six months so maybe it's a little bit broken or rusty so the performance is not that perfect so you need to check accurate to plus or negative one degrees celsius so it should be accurate or exact or sure to plus or minus negative degree celsius so there next clean and sanitize between uses so the tools for measuring um temperatures of food should be sanitized after you use it and on before you use it of course to avoid again to contaminate the food allowed to reach room temperature when alternating between hot and cold food items so you must first test it in room so like leave it first in the room then check if it's working if it's okay then use it treat it with care like take care of those things take care of the tool that you are using okay so that it you can use it longer so there so that's it for now guys um, i'll be continuing my discussion later so watch the video